Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is where we read. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> for anyone um, new to my channel, this is just a nightly reading. It's for all signs. If it resonates for you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Uh, please don't come and say, you know, like, I'm reading for the wrong person. Because I have no idea. I'm just the messenger. I just deliver messages. It's up to you to decide who is and is not. Right? Right. Also, don't worry about it if it doesn't resonate with you. It's just a card game after all. Might work, might not. Never know. Just boop your nose and enjoy the show. I also like to talk a lot of shit. So if you don't like curse words and you don't like somebody being slightly, slightly petty and mean, like, I might not be for you. But I'll tell you one thing. I am a wild child. And wildness do I get? I'm like a freaking stallion in the middle of a meadow. Or a termite that has a chunk of wood that falls on it while I'm choking on a splinter. Oh, so predictable. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Okay. One bitch, shut up. Okay. Sorry, somebody was like hitting me up in my text. Be the, being mad because like I wasn't the person they thought they were or they thought I was and being like well where is her number and it's like I don't know I don't have her number I've had this number for like fucking eight nine years no ten ten years ten years I've had my same phone number right oh well they had this number last month no they didn't that's a lot <laughs> anyway let's get on with this reading who are we reading for today someone who wasn't willing to change Yay! Could be Scorpio, doesn't have to be, could just be somebody carrying that energy. Right? Right. Mind you, if you want a reading after this, personally, just on your own, my email this is in the description box, as well as my Facebook and my Instagram. You can hit me all up on there, because that's just where I'd be. Right? Remember, uh, the first reading's free on the house, everything else comes with a price, of course, and I do. Take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Because I do appreciate that shit. Mmm, dog. Oh, and I just dropped them. There we go. Four of Wands reverse and the Eight of Wands both reverse. What, is there a separation that's just not happening or what? Like, like that's immediate. Also, we got Gretchen and we got Cora here. Say hello to them, chat. Hello. I know this isn't like live streaming, but you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just, you're all chat now. Congratulations. <laughs> all right. Thoughts and feelings. Someone's wanting to go to calmer waters because they're about to fall off the cliff to the freaking ocean. And that like mask is pulling them that way. Because there was betrayal? That's the root of it? They want to take off because there's betrayal? Because someone acted like they helped them out, but in reality they were just saving themselves while the swords struck the other person, right? They got the hanged man! People are at a crossroads! It's time to yield to yellow. <laughs> Sorry, I've been drinking just slightly. I needed it today. It seemed like everybody was, uh just getting on my case and it's just like yeah you know what you just be that you be that way I don't care then we got the ace of swords reverse with the vibration of being four of pentacles someone still valuing a relationship more than themselves but they're wanting to break up and it's not happening so it's like what because, uh, wait, what? No, hold on. I hit the brakes, pull over to the side, stop the car, put it in park, and uh, freaking turn the engine off. Why is someone still valuing a relationship, whoever you are, queer in, but still expecting a breakup to fucking happen? That isn't happening. Like, you're trying to get away from this shit because the person betrayed you, but it's like... It's, it's, it's not happening. This new beginning isn't happening. You're still taking the person from the past and using them in the future. Like, usually the Six of Cups in this deck, I would say you're it's like a picture. It's like you're remembering something from back in the day and you're, remember, and you're using that to, um... 
reference something in the future, being like, you know, oh, somebody did this exact same shit to me, except you're taking the actual person and doing that over here. So I'm, I'm slightly confused, Querents, or Querent, whoever this resonates with. Mind you, um, if you're watching for somebody else and this shows up, cool. If this is you, I'm sorry for all the mean shit I might just say, but you know what? Like... If you, if you do something fucky, I'm probably going to call you out for something fucky. I'm just letting you know. But we're all going to laugh at it, I promise. Like, you will even find yourself hilarious. If you can laugh at yourself like I do all day when I fuck up, you can um, look at the situation a little bit more clearly, right? Laughter is a good medicine. If you can laugh at how stupid you're being, maybe you can figure out a way of being smart. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so first off, we got a book, right? We got a King of Cups. A divine or a sage who's using their um, knowledge, their knowledge, in a bad prospect, right? We got the Eight of Swords. It's because he's trapped and he doesn't know how to close the gap with the ether and distance. Uh, you know, um, he's remembering the past where everything became separated. There was no more chemistry. There was no more fusion. Everyone separated. All the birds just fell out the air like it was the happening. And there's this one bird who remembers it's just being like, I remember the war when it went down. It was terrible. Everybody died. Billy Joe was calling for his mama. You know, like one, of, like, um, like one of those things where it's like terrible and they're recalling it. And they're like the last bird to survive or something like that. Like they, like they know, they know too much. Oh my God. I hate how I bend my cards up, man. I don't need to. I tell you what, man. Like, I would like years ago. I, I I read cards and then I stopped for some reason. And I don't remember why. And the only reason I started up again is because there was another witch I talked to. But this witch was crazy. Like she decided to use. Like she smelled like the Rixum, right? And when a person smells like the Rixum, that means that there's something. On the other side, they're connected to, but it's not a good thing, right? And I don't know how I, I, I can't describe the smell. It's like roses. It's like a smell of roses, right? I have no idea where I'm going with the story, but we're just going to go with it, right? This witch, right? I went to her for solace because I was at the beginning of my spiritual awakening of some sorts, which witches have too. Um, we're not like people who claim to be spiritual, but we do have spiritual awakenings. We're just connected to other sides of other sides if you will and i was going through the beginning of my spiritual awakening and i went to this person asking for solace but it's like she didn't want anything to do with me until i mentioned a other person and all of a sudden she was interested in me because she found that i had information the problem is she didn't know i had a bunch of information and she also didn't know that i bind her to stealth Meaning that, like, only I could find her, nobody else, if she wanted to be hidden. And it was, it, like, well, that binding died as soon as I let her in my presence. Like, as soon as we came close to each other, like, the binding was cut. And this, and, like, this witch. I don't know why I'm remembering this now, but it's, like, this witch. The last time I saw her made the room cold. And for anybody who doesn't know, if somebody make, if, if you're in a room with people and you're feeling hot... There's something trying to influence you. But if the room's cold, something's trying to take something away from you. And I was freezing with this witch. This other witch, right? And it didn't help. It didn't hit me until like this year what she was doing. Because if I had been in my emotional and physical and mental strength, oh boy, I would have bucked her the fuck back. But that didn't happen. She was trying to grab something from me, but, like, it really wasn't her as much as she was, it was, like, her boyfriend at the time. And I only knew it was her man because she dropped one card that had the words evil on it and was looking directly at him in the same way that I was looking at him. And it was weird because it was just, like, when I was around her, she asked me, what are we supposed to do? And... I don't know why I'm remembering this, but it was like, as soon as she asked me that, a voice that sounded just like her voice came into my head, which I found out later was the Rixum, that told me, what people say and think about you don't matter, and this person's included. Don't tell them shit. Right? I have no idea what it has to do with this reading, but that just fucking came up. 
Uh, not like this person's important now, because she's kind of in jail, like I told her she would be when I first read her cards the last time. But she kind of insulted the cards, and then, like, they didn't take kindly to that. So they kind of, yeah. Um, that's another thing. You don't fuck with tarot cards. They're a lot more powerful than what you think they are. They have their own life. I don't know where that story came from that just came up. But it's like, I don't know. It's going to have something to do with in here. I already know. But I don't know what that story was about. But, like, it was just... Like, be careful with witches, man. Because they know exactly how to try to suck away your power. Uh, number one thing about magic in its belief, you don't tell anybody about what you believe. Because my mistake was telling this bitch the visions and stuff that I was seeing during my spiritual awakening. And I was hoping that she would understand and instead she just tried to take my power away from me, which didn't end well for her, I will say. I don't know what happened. I was just told by management not to protect her anymore. And I'm not allowed to argue with, like, I can argue with management, but I'm still going to do what they want me to do. So, I don't know where that story came from, but we're just going to go with it. Anyway, we got a four, or maybe that's what this is. That's weird. Anyway, four of wands reverse. Sorry about that lengthy, weird shit I was just talking about. doesn't really matter. Anyway. There was a separation right here, or someone's wanting a separation, considering the Eight of Wands is down here, in the stem of things, and it's just like, you know, like, this is what they are expecting, this is what they want. This is the root of the emotions, or this is the emotions and feelings, this is the root of that, and this is what they're going to come up and deal with. The vibration is just what they're spending most of their energy on, you know, um, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're keeping inside, the most resonating piece ever. Just for anybody who doesn't know. Right? Ooh, there's some cards. Yeah. There might be a queen of cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, an enchanter, and a shaman who feels as though their destiny is stuck. Um, they might be expecting great wealth and it's not coming to them because of... Sage, mentor? Hierophant, could be Taurus. Could also talk about commitments too, but it's like... They're not listening to somebody who knows better? Is that what that is? Uh, there could be a queen of swords involved who is mystical and elusive and also probably crazy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we got the king of cups around here. They might be the counterparts of the queen of cups right here. The sage, the diviner. They just happen to be insane, which I will tell you. It takes a lot to be spiritual. It takes a lot more to be spiritual and fucking nuts because you got to do both. And that's a lot. Like, you know how many times my co-workers have questioned my sanity because I end up talking to God all the time? Like, today I almost blew up on them because, you know, we were arguing about shit. Like, we always do. It's just what we do. I always argue with... I'd like, I'll argue with anybody. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you're the, the lord of the universe. I'm still gonna argue with you. Thank goodness the Rixum is so fucking patient. And understands, oh yeah, I, I mean, you're going to argue. It's okay, because you're still going to do what I want you to do. Um, some of them I feel like they're too distant to try to make something up. Like, Seven of Swords usually talks about sneaky shit, and then when reverse, it's like apologies for that sneaky shit. And it's like they can't come up with some sort of prolific or cultivated method to close this distance, this ether, this separation of sorts. All right, back to the reading on the board, right? Four of Wands. There is a separation right here. Someone's just plain out confused about what happened. They're feeling left out in the cold. They want their sunshine. But that involves a tower. Something draconian. Something forceful. Something that is probably ancient or from their past. They feel like it has no significance in modern times now. That actually has... Whoa. That's never... A bad judgment call? They didn't awaken or change. That's never happened. Okay, whatever, man. Whatever, whatever you say, man. <laughs> 
Okay, that's cool. Someone had a okay, so someone had a bad judgment call about something that happened back in the day that's now coming up as the tower. It's like something that was insignificant before is snapping them into a uh, reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes okay, I need to stop singing music because I keep doing that. Eight of Wands here. Something is not moving. Someone isn't smart and isn't savvy or ingenious or sly enough. Look at that fox. Just up the shit. Look at him. He's like, I'm gonna get them chickens. Mm-hmm. Look at my face. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get all them chickens and them eggs. You know, like he's fucking sneaking into a uh, chicken hen house. Right? Like he's going in for the kill, but he's not smart enough to avoid the farmer. Right? This person wasn't smart enough or cunning enough to create a new rule or success. They weren't able to create anything. But they found that shit out. Like, they had this... since Oh, wow. The Ace of Wands is reversed here, too. So there's no point in even flipping it because it's already fucking here. This is the actual um, result of that. If you were to flip it, it's like they thought that they were ingenious enough to, like, start something, but that was the wrong idea. But they do have the right idea now and understanding they're not smart enough to start something new. Right? Definitely some fire. Definitely some air. Could be Gemini involved as well, mind you. Pisces could be involved with the hanged man. Ooh. Excuse me, sir and ma'am. Six of swords and the thoughts and feelings. This person wants to take the fuck off. Leave. They, they, but they don't have enough imagination. Dude. This is somebody who really wants out of a relationship and they have to hold it to a standard. It's like they're lifting it up, but they feel like they're overshadowed by the actual coupling. It's just like, I know it's about us, but what about me? It's like they're going into that vibration, right? It's like, yeah, I'm holding up this relationship between the two of us up, but what about me? Um, you know, like, uh, I don't know. This person's really focused on, like, the relationship or projecting it, but they're not focused on actually developing themselves, right? Um, they got a lot of endurance to deal with this shit, though. I got that for sure. They don't know how to escape, but they got the endurance to stick around for shit. Thinking maybe, like, you know, the stuff from the past is over with, or maybe they can just let that shit go. Right? But then we got the Ten of Swords here. It's like, uh, you're not letting that shit go. This person's letting it go. Like, I let my weight go. Like, it just doesn't happen. I'm just saying. It's really hard for me to get fat. And even if I do get fat, I get a nice ass. So, it's a win-win for me. Honestly. It's a good thing about being a Capricorn. Yeah, and, 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 like, no matter how much weight gain, you still look good. <laughs> Ten of Swords right here. There was a betrayal that happened. Someone's trying to navigate that with Six of Swords again. This person is trying to get out of the feelings of being betrayed, but they can't. They don't have the ability to create an idea of how to do that. It's like they want to escape, and they desperately want to escape, but they don't know how. Um, they're holding on to certain insecurities, or they're trying to remain secure, right? With what it is that they know. They have a lot of knowledge and insights. They got a lot of books. They stuck a lot of money in it, according to the coin. Probably 80 to 80,000 bucks. 80 bucks, 80,000 bucks at least. Like, they got a lot of books. They were learning some shit. Encyclopedia of Terra. I need to look that what? Terror of the Witches. Ooh. I should look that up. I didn't know there was a book like that. I will. Thank you. And a coins. I appreciate that. Why are they holding this relationship up in such guard with the Four of Pentacles? What's that about? They missed an opportunity somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, um, Chariot could be a Cancer. They, um, are filled with a lot of anger about that, too. That something didn't come together in fusion or chemistry. Like, there were wrong chemicals. Someone just fucked it up and, like, they made, like, fucking bubbles in the lab. Right? They were supposed to make a cure for cancer. Uh. <laughs> Pun intended, of course. <laughs> but it didn't work out. Like, the chemi chemicals didn't come to pass. Mm. 
So, wait, it's like they tried to get a vi Like, the cherry talks about vi victories, but it's like channeling an entity, right? So it's like... They missed an opportunity to be themselves. Like, whatever the chemical balance they were having, um, it didn't come to fruition. It's like they're out of balance. Like, there's a chemical imbalance wrong with them. And it's because they missed this opportunity. So now they're holding this relationship in regard rather than um, actually work on themselves, I feel like. Like, look at this cherry dude. Look at him. He's like a freaking four-year-old throwing a fit. He's just like, oh, I wanted my cookie now. You know? I wanted it now. It's like, he, this fire is not of passion, but of rage. It's like he's really upset that he didn't get that cookie, right? Or at least this fusion to come together. It's like they lost themselves trying to uh, manipulate something. Is that right? Is that right? Gretchen, is that right? She's like, meh. Okay, thank you, Gretchen. What? They were trying to be happy, Cora? I, I think so. I think they were trying to be happy. I'm just not sure if they succeeded or not. What? Oh, Gretchen said that's why she's praying for him. Okay. Okay. Alright, Gretchen. Wow. Re Mind you, Gre my gargoyles, Gretchen and Cora, they talk a lot of shit to me. Sure, I might be nuts, but I know I'm not nuts to that point. So, we're just gonna go with it, right? Right. Right! Well, thank you, Gretchen. That, that was a really... That, that's mature. Okay. You don't need to know it, Gretchen. <laughs> you really don't need to. Uh, this hanged man right here. We got the king of wands. Devoted. Disciplined. This person's at a crossroads with their devotion and discipline. They've been feeling fucking trapped with all of this shit. Uh, but they're not willing to change or go somewhere. It's just like, you know, I'm not giving that booty away. That's my booty card, man. Knight of wands. Always. Always rushing to get that booty, but he is not rushing to get the booty, right? There was a judgment call that was the right judgment call right here. That's way too far. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put it where you couldn't see it, everybody. This queer it right here. Um, it's like they're coming to some realization that like they don't really have an identity outside of a relationship. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with if that's how you identify yourself. If you're comfortable with that, you do whatever you want to do, man. You know, like, I was raised by a Virgo and a Libra. The most judgmental motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. Not saying that those two signs are the most judgmental, but goddamn, did they give it a fucking name with me, right? But it's like, you know, if, if, does it, if, if, you know, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. And if it makes you happy, why the hell are you so sad? You know? Because I feel like this parent is kind of sad, but, like, not really. It's more like they're just irritated. Or annoyed in some case. Anyway. Alright. Six of Cups Reverse. Someone's taking, I feel like, their person from the past and using them to project into the future like they didn't learn a lesson. That's a weird way of putting it, Malachite. Um, no justice! No peace. No justice, no peace. Justice card reverse. There's no balance. There's no equilibrium in this. People aren't growing. The distance has grown bigger with the Five of Cups right here. The ether is, has grown, and someone is too drunk to make their web up. They cannot calculate. They cannot theorize. They cannot really make a web that'll catch flies. It's more like they, they either got on the scissor or they smoked the tweeds and just fucked them up. What is this Ace of Wands I wanted to start on? Because it showed up before over here. Oh, all of, oh, four of you. Let's take four. Fuck it. We'll do it that way. Um, they tried to have control but that just led to more grief and pain and now they're just being on their guard while living in misery and torment hoping that they get into heaven 
It's like they think that if they keep holding on, they'll... Oh, sorry, Gretchen. I caught you, though. My boo. This is my girl. Gretchen should probably be a redhead. Just letting you all know. She looks like one. You know, this person is, like, holding on and keeping their guard up thinking that things are going to get better. Which, I don't know how that fucking works. You know, uh, they're the queen of... Con Queen of Pentacles, very demanding in order to balance themselves out, expects a lot from people, uprooted and shit. Um, their insecurities are causing them to be way more devious and having to apologize when they get caught more than anything. It's like they're so insecure that like they push their insecurities on somebody else, like sniping, right? Putting some espionage on, but then it doesn't work out for them and be like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to send all these birds and shit to come fuck up your thing. I'm just feeling not good for myself. That's all. That's that's what they're doing. It's like this person doesn't know how to take responsibility for themselves and expects everybody to do it for them. That's the title of this video. This Querence lost in their own sauce. Like, hello God, it's me, Querent, and I'm back on my bullshit. Almost. But I don't know if they're completely back on it or if they're just confused. So I can't be completely a dick to them, you know? So let's see. We have... They want to get out of this position where they feel like they're trapped with the... Wow, two tens. Really? They feel like the world is on their shoulders. But they're keeping that shit secret with the high priestess. I feel like they could really let people know what's going on instead of acting like they're mystical and shit. Or they just they just don't have any idea that um all of this stuff is building up on them and they haven't it's kinda like um It's kind of like a drug act. It's like they're so addicted to what they've been doing before that they don't recognize that it's a pattern. And then when it starts clicking, you know, that's when their body and their mentality starts rejecting them. Like, no, 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 that's not what this is. No, no, no. This is completely wrong. I'm just doubting myself. I know I'm correct. And it's one of those times where someone should understand that it's not about being correct. It's about being accurate, right? Now, this queer end feels like they lost something that gave them some sort of fulfillment or illusion. They're like in a mosh pit just flailing around smacking people without any music going on with the chariot reverse once again. Over here, they feel like they just need to be hostile. They aren't getting a victory, so it's setting them off and shit. But that's because they've been hanging on too long for what it is that's been feeding them their bullshit. The hangman reverse could be Pisces. They're looking at the opposite side of things instead of like what is. Um, they're very much into having a good time with people, collaborating, celebrating and stuff, right? But it's not opening a door for them. There is no synchronicity. Ooh, much just came out. Okay. First one up, um, they're still retaining their strengths, right? But they're ending up, like, wanting to go on travels. Unfortunately, they have to look inside themselves real quick and realize that there are things that they've harvested that they don't even realize they grew. Um, this person's in the midst of, well, I guess they're in the midst of a awakening of sorts. I'm not sure what kind of awakening, but it's like a self. It's almost like the gift of discernment has come upon this person, and the first person that they are actually taking that gift towards is themselves. You know, that's why I'm not trying to knock this person as much as I have been, because it's like they're just now figuring out where they are in the universe and how it affects them and what they're going to do about it. But it involves actually looking pretty deep with whatever it is they've been covering up with, like, the moon. Their emotions, their secrets, their subconscious, right? So, Querent, take your time with this, right? Because it does take a while. I'm just now getting out of mine. Awakenings aren't supposed to be fun. They're supposed to fuck you up. That way you wake up, right? Everybody else, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to do that. No pressure, of course. Not from me, but I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you all later. Mwah! Love you all. Bye-bye.